Hey everybody, it's the Metrics Development Working Group meeting you're here at uh, for Chaos. And I will sh go ahead and just share, unless somebody else wants to. I don't really care, but I got it pulled up. So there you go. Minutes we can drop in the chat if anybody needs them. Sean, do you need those? Nope, I got them. Okay, no. Just get on there. Um, yeah, we can jump right into it. So uh, first thing on the agenda was to rename the metrics development. I think I got everything. I Two minutes before this meeting started, I realized I had not done the, the document on the website. So I just did that PR. And I think that was the last place. That being said, if anybody has seen anything that I missed, please shout out and I will go fix that. The only question I had, uh, what about the metrics that were part of that uh, repo on the GitHub? Or So they should be okay because we're, you. well, actually, let's just find out. I'm thinking they should be okay, okay. but I don't know that. Let's find out. GitHub should automatically redirect it. That's what I'm, I'm hoping, but I just kind of want to test that. Let's find that repo. I don't even know what metrics are under here. Uh, no, nope. organizational diversity would be because that was one of the first ones we did. Awesome. We'll just try that. Ugh. Okay. It seemed to work. Okay. Let's but scroll, down. scroll down. Click on the. There should be a link to the. Oh, let's see. Yeah, just make sure that redirects. Okay. Do we oh, need to look at that? Just like magic. Magic. Do we need to change the way it looks, or do we care that it still says here? Oh, okay. I wouldn't we... wouldn't hurt to change it. Yeah. But. But that's a bit of a project. You should have to find yeah. all the ones. You could, you could just create an issue for that and make it a good first issue and have somebody dig through and. That's what I'm thinking. That, yeah. yeah. Might be a good project for somebody once a few. Yep. That's something. Green squares on their GitHub account. Those are posted on the GitHub pages or they are pulled from uh, WordPress? They are posted in this. Uh, Can you open question. that template on the GitHub? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. It might be in WordPress. If it is in the WordPress, then you and Kevin can only do. If it is on the GitHub, then issue will work. Somebody can take it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's a separate module on the on WordPress. Okay. So, I feel like we need more WordPress people anyway, because there are like the accessibility audit. There's a ton of design tweaks that we need to make, like increasing the um, the contrast. And like, if I'm the only person that can make them, then they're, it's going to be next year before I get to that. So, um, yeah, that's another separate conversation, but I feel like that could be a thing. Maybe create an issue for the time being. And when we have somebody for the WordPress, then they can fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, cool. Anything else with this? Anybody seen or can think of anywhere else that we didn't get? Okay, well, again, if you see anything, just let me know. Not big, not a big deal. Um, the next one I put on here, which is this um, uh, conversation around the way that events are collecting demographic information. Um, we had the concern brought to us about uh, from the LF events team in particular about the way that they have been um, collecting and storing the demographic data. They no longer wish to do that because of the risk that's involved because it's all personally identif identifiable information. Um, they were afraid that that would adversely affect their ability to get a chaos badge. Uh, we did work out a, a solution with them that they are going to still try to collect that information anonymously. 
um, and obviously opting in. But um, one thing that we thought we might discuss, this was brought up in DEI working group yesterday, is if we want to, as chaos, change our approach to this metric and the way we the way we ask that question, but also the metric itself. So I pulled up, well, I thought I pulled up the metric here just so we could kind of look at that. And instead of maybe asking uh, if they do it, maybe uh, to like to what extent are they paying attention? I guess this is maybe a good way to approach it, but the way we're asking it is maybe could be better. So we were thinking about changing this to just say, um, like, especially under data collection strategies, you know, maybe just saying, um, like, how are you thinking about this in your event? How are you improving based on um, information? So we wanted to bring it to this group because this is the metrics group and wanted to see how we thought we should change this metric to reflect that. If anybody has thoughts on it. Yeah, I like that. I don't think we should be encouraging people to gather and store personally identifiable information, especially with this kind of the sensitive nature of this type of information. I agree. Okay. So what I'm going to propose is that I will take this metric and adjust it and then submit a PR or bring it back to this group next time. If we don't want to wait two weeks, that's also valid. I can, we can do it async. Um, and then we'll just go from there, if that's cool. That is cool. So this is more on making the participant think that they are capturing diversity in their events. So right. So right now we're suggesting we're suggesting that they ask this during conference registration, which is not great because okay. um, then it's connected to a name. Any, okay. any kind of identify an identifiable information is connected to a name, and that was kind of the the um, the concern that the LF had was like this is risky and we don't want to store this information like this is not good. So they are going to still try to collect it anonymously, which we could add as a potential. Okay. But instead of like the focus on collecting it, it's kind of like how are you thinking about ways to improve? Um, you know what I mean? So. Uh, there are two things like if they are collecting it during the registration, even that can that collection can be anonymized, not storing with the registration, just storing as a separately. But that is easier process to collect at that time rather than ask them do another survey and share the demographics. So I maybe adding that, that, that their registration system doesn't doesn't provide them the flexibility to store it separately. But, but uh, is and this uh, metric is not only for the LX, uh, LF events, it is just for a broader audience. So we can say, like, we can write in, in this way that either they can collect during the registration anonymously or do a separate survey, but, you know, doing a second step is more cumbersome than just doing it at that, that point in time. Yeah. Um... I totally understand. I think we have that because the second bullet says use the survey. So we've got, yeah. like we've got that. Yeah. So maybe we just need to change that first bullet. Or change that first bullet. Yeah. And then add in more about uh, the way that they're thinking about it and, and actually using using the information to make improvements is really what we wanted to, I think, to switch the focus on, aside from just, are you collecting it? So I'm gonna also put an uh, action item for me just to reword the way that uh, comes up in the event badging. Okay, cool. And then I'll bring it back to this group, either async or next time, just for other eyes on it. All right, awesome. Any other comments on this? Yeah. Um, I don't know what this is. 
I don't I mean, I, I know what this is. That was, uh, <clears throat> those are metrics that people are using, but haven't been developed yet. And yeah. when I, when I got to my action item, it uh, wrote, went over to the board and wrote down the rest of the context. Cause I couldn't remember what I was supposed to do with risk and evolution, pull items from minutes that need to be captured in spreadsheet. That was not enough information for me to remember this task. So <laughs> now I have annotated it. So I know what to do for next time. Okay. Mm. And I looked at it. I looked at it puzzled the last three days. Like, I know I'm supposed to do something, but I don't know for where or for what. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm not the only person that looked at stuff on my task list. And I'm like, what did I mean by that? Yeah. Right? <laughs> what am I supposed <laughs> to do? <laughs> exactly. That's it was exactly important enough to put on my task list. Yeah. So there's something. Yeah. It's worrisome. <laughs> it happens. It happens to me. It happens to me too. Okay, so that was a big item. And yeah. I don't, what, yeah. when I when we talked about it last time, it really was this. We have a lot of metrics that are in tools that are not documented in chaos. We have metrics we've discussed that are in the minutes, but maybe never made the spreadsheet. So it's those two threads, I think, that we went through. Yeah, and I think part of it was that some of those would be low-hanging fruit for someone to develop and also yeah. a priority for someone to develop. And it's easier to get someone to participate in this group and develop some metrics. If we can say, here's a list of things that we'd like people to work on. Is there, so I know at the ChaosCon NA, which is gonna be in April, we had talked about doing metrics development or developing a metric during the workshop. Is there a metric that we have in mind already? No, I think we need to pick a few. I think we should pick a few, maybe ones that have already been implemented so that people can kind of see it and just write the definition around it. And the way the way I would imagine this working is that if we can get, um, you know, let's say we have, let's say we have 50 people at Chaos Con NA. If we have, you know, five or six metrics that need to be developed and we have one person leading each of those groups, um, then people can self-select and put pick one of them, but I think we do need, we need, we need to pick the metrics ahead of time so that we have some easy metrics people to define and have a, have someone kind of leading that group so that they can help facilitate. And then I might also do this with one or two of the insight guides. The insight guides will be kind of TBT, depending on how much progress we make between now and OSS. Go ahead, Peculiar. Yeah, okay. I was trying to find out uh, the breakout section for the matrix development of matrix. Will it be recorded or will it be like, uh, like uh, not... stream? So people can, okay, maybe what? be part of it if they're not their present. We actually, we talked yeah. to the OS, I'm oh, sorry, we talked to the Linux Foundation folks and we, we can't live stream the, the event, unfortunately. But we can record it, right? Yeah, not, we, nothing we stops us from doing that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll just focus on one of the breakout groups and just ask if they're cool and we can just maybe record the process so people can kind of see how that collaboration goes. Would that be helpful, Peculiar? Yes, yes, please. That's the part I want to know. I want to learn how that's been done and then get to understand it more, the process and know about it better. The other, the other thing we could do, Peculiar, is we could, um, we used to run through that process here actually in this in this meeting so we would pick a metric somebody would um you know start to put it in the template and we'd all work on it together in this meeting mm -hmm. so maybe maybe before the next meeting we should pick a metric and bring it in um and and start doing that again because that also might get people more interested in this meeting if they have something to work on so i don't okay. i'm, I'm going to miss the awesome. next meeting yeah i'm going to miss the next meeting because i'm traveling but if somebody wants to drive that that would be awesome is there anything that might be um, pretty straightforward that we would want to do? I don't know what this is. 
have been missing a lot of OSPO meetings. Is there anything in the OSPO that needs to be developed? We can bring it here. There hasn't been anything in the OSPO meeting specifically. We've been focused on the viability metrics, which I think we've mostly developed as a metrics model. Maybe, Sean, you can think of one or two that are things that are in Augur and or Ignot that aren't defined as metrics. Yeah, I can. I'll be at, I'll tell you what, I'll be at this meeting next time, and I will put me on the agenda for going through a couple of metrics, actually building them in the meeting. Awesome. I mean, that's really how all of our working groups used to function. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like we need to do that again to get people interested and to get, like Patilia said, to get people familiar with the process of building metrics. Because if people if people don't know what to do or how to start, then, then they can't really help us. All right. I can also like go through the Excel list and find out if anything is maybe relevant or anything. We have just ideas. I can bring one or two from the Excel sheet, looking at the Excel sheet. That would be great. Yeah. There are some actually that we've started and just yeah. never finished, and I don't yes. know why. Yes. Maybe one of those would be good. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was just looking at. Some of these value ones, there's some in evolution. Yeah, evolution and risk is two things on my board list. <laughs> Because I have attended both of the meetings, like risk regularly till the last. So, mm. yeah, I, I'll find out one or two metrics for for this. So, do uh, do we want to like uh, keep those for the uh, open source summit North America, or do you want to do it here? We There's have a little shortage time. of metrics. We can do it here. We can do some here. No, I mean we've got a meeting. We're not, not going to run out. Yeah. yeah, and it's in it's on leap day in two weeks. This meeting. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> An extra whole day. Yeah. Just for metrics development. I love exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Do we want? I mean, we have some time in this meeting today. I don't know if we have the the brain power <laughs> for how we're feeling, but we could work on something today, right now. We have a little time. Yeah. We could just uh, op open a metric. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I was just looking at this contributor development influence. Maybe this is a hard one, but this has been going on for th almost <laughs> for three and a half years. Wow. So Mid pandemic, we got started on this one with all kinds of ambition. Right. Uh, it would be great. Here, I'll drop it in the, I'll drop it in the chat. If we want to just look at this. So um, peculiar, this is basically how it goes. We have a template, which this is probably not even on the template that we have now. And we just started Google Doc, and then we all just start filling it in, like during the meeting. So everybody just goes into that doc and starts typing. But we do uh, usually do suggestions so that we can talk about them if needed before we add them, but yeah. What do we think? Do we want to work on this today? I'm down, or I'm, I'm willing to do that. Yeah. And not, not try to pretend I'm cool and use words like <laughs> I'm down. I say that too, Sean. I think we're both <laughs> fine. <laughs> it's very old. Do we <laughs> still right. have the thoughts? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Minad, watch yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, do we still remember what we were thinking and capturing here? <laughs> so maybe I need a time to read it. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes we stop the recording. Sometimes we don't. What do you all think? You want to stop? Yeah. Usually the stoppage is just because nobody wants to watch the replay of us editing a document, right? <laughs> right. <clears throat> Although sometimes good conversations do come up, but I will but, just wait. 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 But if the whole if the whole idea is to understand the process, maybe we leave the recording on for this one. That's oh, a good, that's a good point. Good point. Yeah, that's a really good point. Okay, everybody knows where we're doing. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to mute myself. Um, I wonder if the first step might be making sure that this is, that we have the right headings. I'm sure this is like out of date. This, this isn't the right template. <clears throat> Maybe we should convert it into the right template first. 
Do we or have a maybe, link? To, I don't. I don't know. Do we have a link to the current template? I could go through and make those edits while people edited meaningful I'm, content. Yeah, I'm grabbing I know it. Right in now. particular, it's missing the contributor section at the bottom. Yeah, I'm grabbing it right now. Here it is. I'll just put it in the. There's. It's in the chat. All right. So if I may understand. The, this matrix is up, like a response to the question, how influential open source contribution case? Yes. So that's the question we're trying to answer. Answer, okay. Yep. Okay, so another thing, so matrix, just like answering a question that maybe has not been answered by a uh, lot of people, it's not clear to some people. Yep. Okay. Yeah, when we develop metrics, we usually use a, a goal question metric framework, which means that uh, there's a goal that we're trying to achieve. And then mm -hmm. we have questions underneath that that we would answer to achieve that goal. So um, in this case, the goal was to uh, identify a contributor's influence as a function of participation. Okay. I don't know why that was crossed out, but um, okay, I got it. But the question then that we're trying to answer is how much influence or how influential is is one of the open source contributors in the project. I got that. It's clear. Yeah. Do you know? Awesome. And then yeah. So then we just kind of put our thoughts in about what what we're talking about here why why it matters what the you know objectives are that kind of thing i wonder if this one isn't a great one to start with i'm reading the description and the description has really nothing to do with the question oh. i'm super confused by this metric well the like, template's I... up to date now <laughs> we we have one keeps more... talking about like project popularity but it, the question is around so I, I think that because we copied and pasted, I think. There is a problem with the template too right now. Uh, we have a context tags and keywords in the template. We don't follow that pattern. We just have tags anymore. So we need to update the template first before we change this. Um, if you just tell me what it's supposed to be, yeah. I can comply. We can just take that part out. Take that this part yes, out. Yes, just uh okay, I'll keep it here as a tags only. It'll be just tags. Um, I'm gonna suggest that this isn't a good one to start with. <laughs> okay, we can pick a different one. I'm not okay. gonna disagree. I just I'm reading it nothing and nothing has anything to do with that question. I wonder if we just pop something yeah, from a different metric right, in right. here. And that's that don't... does happen. That's what I'm thinking, is we just copied. That's why I asked the question, what's actually. Yeah, this is a bad one if it's nonsense. <laughs> is, there another, is there another metric that we could look at? Maybe, here's, here's what I'm going to suggest. I think, I think maybe rather than trying to do one here from this meeting, maybe I, I think that I think we were right the first time. Maybe Sean and Vinod need to go off and find some that are logical ones for us to work on so that we can we can work on something that's gonna be a little more productive. Meaningful and don't even know what to do with that one. Yeah. I mean if we vet them and organize them before the meeting, then we won't land on a turn yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Because if we yeah, if we decide on which ones make sense to work on, I think it'll be easier. Yeah, I think I think we did take project popularity and try to just make it be contributor popularity slash influence. So that's why we just didn't get that far as to actually changing the <laughs> I feel like this one somebody should start over and Yeah. I feel like this isn't Yeah. Okay, so next time, Sean and Vinod are going to pick out a couple of metrics yeah. that we can start. I now wrote enough to understand the task on my board. <laughs> Fair enough. I think then that's the end of our agenda. Yeah, that sounds good. All right.
see y'all on leap day. All right. Have a good rest of your week, everybody. See ya. Yeah. Bye-bye. Everybody. Bye.